Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. Uh, Ted has got the controller now, and uh, we're continuing our way through the world of Zibs. This is Zibs. Uh, uh, Metroid. He's my favorite robot. <laughs> the the game, the movie, the game. <laughs> and uh, last time we obtained a reserve tank. Yep. And, and some more missiles. Tank. And we fell in the lava, and we expect uh, more of the same here in this episode. So join us, find out what happens. Will we talk about aliens, or God, or um, mist? Nobody knows. We don't even know. I don't know if you guys know this. Hey, what does uh, mist don't... and a kidney stone have in common? <laughs> uh, they could both pass. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've never had a kidney stone. Have you had a kidney stone? No. However, I have a kidney stone story. All right, share. Actually, I have, I have two. Please indulge us. Uh, pick, um, pick T or N. Ooh, T or N. Okay, uh, uh let's go with N. Okay, N. Okay, so my mom once had a, some sort of stone. Uh, uh, there's multiple kinds of stones, right? I don't know if some are exclusive to, like, dudes or whatever, but my mom had some sort of stone that was, like, working its way through her system, and Ew. apparently it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that it's, like, like one worse. of the most intense pains you can experience. Yeah, actually, my mother-in-law um, had some sort of stone, and, and she has two daughters, and she said she'd rather give birth again than have another stone again. Oh, wow. Yeah, and... Really? And, like, I, she's not prone to hyperbole and you know she's a mother right who really like gave actual birth so if she says that I don't know I take actual her birth. take her pretty seriously totally so, so anyway my mom had this once and we were on vacation up in Duluth and okay. I was I don't know 16 or 17 or something and uh, it was me and my sister and my mom and my dad and we were staying at a place in Duluth and uh, she did not feel well and one day we went out and like saw the sights and went on a boat or whatever and she just stayed oh, in the place that we were at and was laying yeah. on the bed and like curled up and like trying to not cry <laughs> gosh and uh i got back and i checked on her said hey mom how's it going and she said in this like super feeble sad voice like will you tell me a story <laughs> i know <laughs> just super sad because she just wanted she Any wanted anything to like take her mind yeah off of stuff so I told her this big, long, convoluted story about nothing, you know, and she, like, laid there, sort of shallow breaths and eyes closed, and... Uh, it was toward the end of our time in Duluth, so we ended up getting in the car and driving towards home, I think, the next day. And, uh... She didn't actually, like, make it home. Like, it was a drive, and we had to stop, like, partway through and leave her overnight at an urgent care place. And then my Jeez, dad went really? back for her the next day, yeah. And while we were driving home, um, my dad was like in the back seat. Or how'd it go? No, my mom was riding in the front seat and I was driving. Uh, wow. Yeah, and my dad was on the phone or, you know, trying to like do stuff to help. And uh, there was a point at which she had to, you know, throw up and she was, but every little bump hurt. Like she implored me to not find the bumps in the road, you know? Like go around every, all the little wow. potholes and stuff. Yeah, so I'm like super nervous and I'm white knuckling the steering wheel and I'm trying my and like my mom's not a mean person She's a really nice lady and like I love her and I was just trying to like make things better for her. So that's why I was nervous Like trying to drive well, and then when, yeah. if she had to throw up she wanted me to like Pull over quickly and stop so that you know, okay, she could take care of business, but also like she had been imploring me for the whole rest of the drive, like, take it super easy on the brakes, you know, don't accelerate too fast, don't swerve with the steering wheel. So I'm trying to stop and pull over quickly without braking hard, but I was going, like, nine miles an hour over the speed limit, just trying to get her home or to the next hospital or whatever. But so it was... I think of it sometimes when I feel like in life, life is demanding two different things, like two mutually exclusive things from me, like go faster and go slower simultaneously, and you just feel trapped and stuck, like, hmm. I can't win. Like, I could brake harder to pull over faster, but that's gonna be uncomfortable. Or I could brake gently, but I'll pull over slowly, which would be Gosh, a bad the truth, decision. Gosh, like, isn't yeah. that a lot of life is like that. Um, and, uh, you know, we've talked about this time a couple of times since, and she says, Oh, you were great, and I loved your stories, and thank you for, you drove so well, and all that stuff. But I felt nervous at the time, like, 
gosh, I should have I should have braked harder when I pulled over, or <laughs> or I should have, you know, braked more gently when I pulled over. What is that? This. What is that? Check this out. It's the X-ray scope. Yes. Woo. You Press think, and hold that B button. The yes ray scope. Oh man, do we have all the all the weapons now? That looks pretty full at the top of okay, the screen. This is what's cool with the X-ray button. You can see. This will be really helpful. At, in oh, you can get back now. there. Yeah. So it's like it's showing you like you need a bomb. And you can go back in here. <gasps> oh. Yeah, and once you get up there, you can walk across. It was too tall, it looked like. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to ball up to get out anyway. Okay, I can tell you right now that the area down here doesn't matter at all. Okay. There's nothing down there. I so. believe you. I'm a believer. Just like Anne Frank. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I've told you this story, and maybe even on the show, I think. So, just so people who like Justin Bieber are believers. Yeah, right? that's like their fans' names, like the name for the fans. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Justin Bieber went to the Anne Frank Museum. Okay. And you know, was like learning about stuff and learning about you know World War II and how the Nazis and the you know the the Jews hid. And if you don't know the story of Anne Frank, it's a it's a good one. There's a book, The Diary of Anne Frank. It's worth reading. She hid from uh, she was a Jewish gal, and her and her family hid from and the she Nazis. Was, she was like a kid, right? Yeah, she was a little girl, and like I don't know, not too young. Um, I mean, yeah too young to be going through the nonsense she went through. Like, hiding in the attic of this, you know, family that was sympathetic. Anyway, he went to the Anne Frank Museum and was, like, really impressed and thought, um, you know, what a what a great story and what a lot of courage. And I'm not some Justin Bieber fan or, like, Justin Bieber apologist, but I definitely think the media kind of skewered him for something that wasn't a very big deal. Because he said, like, you know, if Anne Frank were around today, I'd like to think that she would be a believer, a you know, and he meant it as like a compliment. Like I would be honored to have, you know, if she liked, if she was around today and she liked my music, I would take that as a super high compliment. I'm pretty sure that's what he meant, but it came across as like, <laughs> oh, wow, you suffered through the Holocaust. Uh, join my fan club, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. which would be a pretty like jerk move if that's what he was actually saying. And that's what he meant. Uh, but I don't think that that was the case. But yeah, that's what he said was like, I think I think maybe she would be a believer. <laughs> Pretty dumb. Yeah. But hey, you know what? I'll say it. I think if Anne Frank were around today, she'd be a basement tier. She'd be a dweller. She'd subscribe. She totally would. Yeah, because she'd be like, oh, these guys are nice and friendly and funny and, and they play video games not super well, but well Let's enough. rephrase that. I would like to think that she would be a basement. Yes, no, I'm sorry. Like, if she like, were... I'd like to think. If she subscribed, I'd be like, dang, we gotta make a, a thank you video just for that one subscription. That's true. We should do that. The Anne Frank special. Maybe we could just make an Anne Frank special anyway. I don't know. I I have no idea what it would be. <laughs> How we would pull sure. that off. Maybe we won't. Maybe yeah, we I couldn't... I feel like it could... Yeah, we could probably not really do quick. it justice. I, I'm really not trying to make light of a serious situation, but neither was Justin Bieber. Right? That's true. If, if you're a believer, like, comment, and subscribe below. Or, yeah. Or just comment. Be like, yeah, I like his music. Eh, maybe you do. I, I don't know. I really am unfamiliar with his music. Yeah. Are you familiar I, with his music? Eh, no. Mm. I would say I'm there safely not familiar with it. Who's me? Oh, speaking of music you're familiar with, they... Okay, so... Here's a couple differences between Ted and I. Um... I am a fan of professional football, and Ted is not so much. Not the, I, I don't think you like you actively dislike it, you just never got into it, and therefore when people talk about it, you're like, I don't know who those people are, it doesn't matter to me, I don't, my life is complete without that. Yeah. Which is great. But, during the, there was a football game last night, they announced uh, the halftime show for the Super Bowl. <gasps> and guess who it is? No, is it Weird Al? Oh, that would be awesome. Dang it! I thought you were talking because we've talked about this before. Yeah, no, it's um, it's a band you have a much more appreciation for than I do. Mute Math? No, I love Mute Math. A band I have much more appreciate. Lady Gaga? 
You have a lot of appreciation for Lady Gaga? <laughs> uh, no. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly unfamiliar with her stuff, impressive. but I'm, I'm of the opinion that her, the stuff I have heard is good, you know. Okay, okay, That's the thing with these super it's popular weird musicians. It's a band that I have a, a lot more appreciation for. You like Muse, you like Rage Against the Machine. Uh-huh. It's not like you're a huge fan of this band, but I think... Well, you're a pretty big fan, and I'm just not. Like, think of me and my wife rolling our eyes at about a band. Oh, Coldplay. Coldplay. Well, this is their last... <laughs> I like how you said that. Like, me and my wife don't like this one, but you do. <laughs> oh, Coldplay, duh. Yeah, oh, Coldplay. It was either yeah, yeah. that or you too, and we know they're not playing the halftime show at the Super Bowl because... <laughs> 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 Nobody likes them anymore. <laughs> With or without you... Wow, I'm better than Bono. Yeah, that's not saying too much. <laughs> hey. Yeah? He's got, he, you know. What'd you he, say about Coldplay? It's their last something? Are they quitting? Uh, that's, that's what I heard. Is, is that what they is said? Did they say that, like, They're this getting is it. close to done, and then... We've written all the music that we have. In our, in our... Several times. Creativity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know they have six number one albums? It's the same album. It's they just released one album six different times, slightly rearranged uh, chord progressions. Their stuff is actually pretty different now. Like, I don't know. Go just on. Like, it's well, there's a lot more like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> all like techno influences and stuff, like electronica <coughs> and stuff. It's good. Yeah. Well, old play. <laughs> Cold lame. <laughs> What? Cold lame? Yeah. That wasn't even creative. Uh, Come on, try again. Uh... Bold? Gray. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was pretty good. <laughs> as bad as that was, it could have been worse. <laughs> Did, were you just turning the map pink there? Yep. I know how you like your maps pink. You know, you know it. These Don't you know? These people need uh Why you, were you shooting them with the I was, because that was what I had equipped. What is that line from? These people need air? These people need air. I'm pretty sure it's from Total Recall. Okay, I would I think I saw that once. And it was I, not recently. Yeah, I saw it once These a long need time ago. Air. <laughs> you said that in some sort of video and I laughed because air is just such a Okay, pro tip. For life, not for Metroid. If you're gonna do an accent, and you're not awesome at accents, Ted's awesome at accents. I'm not so great. I try. But there are certain... Yeah, you do. There's certain words that make uh, you more convincing, right? So... Yes. So, let's see if you can it's guess true. who this impersonation is, okay? Ted, you guess out loud, and but maybe give it a few seconds so that our basement tiers can guess too, okay? Keep in mind I'm not great at impressions, but you're gonna know who I am. Oh, Hillary. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, oh. you said Hillary. Oh, Hillary. That's my point, though. Okay, so who is it? That's Bill Clinton. Yeah, former president, William Jefferson. Nice, pretentious name. Clinton. Um, because I said is Hillary, that really right? Is his middle name? So that, uh, Maybe. I don't know. If that's his name, comment below. If it's not, comment below. Uh, but if you say the right word, then your, your C-plus impression becomes... Uh, B minus. B, B plus. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, it becomes understandable. <laughs> it's true. That's true. I'm trying um, to think of another example of that. I was watching, like, a, a thing about impressions, and they said they're, the, the real test of a person who can do impressions is if they can say anything or do any kind of situation as that person. Not... Yeah. Not Instead if they of the do prototypical the line, thing. Like, eh, what's up, Doc? Like, if you can do, eh, what's up, Doc? Like, eh, big deal. Like, I don't care. It's not really a Roger Rabbit. But if you can read until the Declaration in. of Independence as Roger Rabbit and people know who you're impersonating? Yes, and that's how like some people have gotten like really big gigs, like really great like acting jobs and stuff, doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Because they go in, they're like... A lot of really good stand-up comedians, boy, this is creepy. Yeah. A lot of really good stand-up comedians are um, really good impersonators too. Mm -hmm. And like that's their early work, you know, you see a super young version of them and they're wearing like pleated slacks. Boy, this is getting creepy. It's the ghost ship. Oh, those those disco balls. Those uh, hot topic <laughs> rotating light balls. 
<laughs> What's the... I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. What's the deal with the floating skulls stuck together? There, it's actually a, it's it's this futuristic ghost ship. It's it's actually a ghost ship. Oh. But it's future ghost ship. Oh, I hate it. So can you um could you say four score and seven years ago in Bugs Bunny? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Start with that so everyone knows. <clears throat> Four score and s no, I can't do it. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Bad. He's Brooklyn. He's got, a, he, he's got a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, or like if I tried to do yeah, Bill Clinton. He's got a Brooklyn accent. Saying four score. Yeah. Uh, uh, four score. <laughs> seven years ago. It just four sounds like a raspy. Seven years ago. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I like, just sound like a raspy certain ones farmer. I can I can do okay, but yeah, I mean that's exactly it. If you can do. Something totally not in their character as their character Then 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 you got it then you got it done Okay, so you can't actually save in this one because the power is not on oh. but we are gonna meet you back guys back net back here But you've got you got to go Yeah, right in the scary room this broken. Let me rewind that <laughs> hey guys, so you can't actually save in this room, but we're gonna meet you guys right back here next time on the basement We will continue through the ghost ship get the thing all squared away and work our way through Meridia. I'm scared. <laughs>